Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hash Raptor YouTube channel. Hope you guys are doing great. Today, I am happy to say that we have partnered up with the Hive OS team to bring you a series of short videos where we're going to be giving out some nuggets of information that you can use whether your farm is big, small, or somewhere in between. And today, I want to start out this series by sharing with you some ideas on how to do some basic network management on your farm. And to do that, we are going to be talking about a couple of commands that I'm going to show you here in just a moment. Now, one of the symptoms that you may see from time to time is that rigs do not appear to be online. And maybe you've done some basic troubleshooting and you're kind of racking your brain as to why they're not showing up in the Hive OS console. So I will give you some tips on how to try to tackle that. Now if we come back out here and we look at our farm and notice that I've got nine rigs online at the moment, sometimes I select this and just getting a quick snapshot here I see that one or more of my rigs is not showing up and I get a little frantic. Uh, it doesn't happen often but when it does I, I wonder why my rig is down. So you can do a bunch of different things to begin troubleshooting this. The first I'm going to recommend is the basics that probably all of you know, which is take a look at your home network. Now this is not going to be a network troubleshooting video, but I will say if you take a look at this basic network configuration that many of us at home have, we've got our wireless router, we've got our ISP, maybe there's an ISP modem or router sitting there and we've got our own router. Uh, take a look at all of these network components. Check all of your cabling that's going to your rigs, anything in your home network that could be causing conflicts or maybe overloading the network. Check your router, perhaps try rebooting your router, change the ports that you have plugged in to, especially if you're plugging rigs directly into an ISP router, maybe you've got a switch sitting over here to the side and all of your rigs are connected to that switch and then that switch is connected into an ISP router. Try changing ports and reboot that ISP router. So. Just a few things there, but that being said, this is not a network troubleshooting video. So let's assume that you've done a bit of checking here and everything looks good and you want to know what else can I do. Now if you have even one rig up, I want you to select that rig and we are going to use the solo mining rig as an example here to do some testing on. And you can see that we are booted and that we are up, our miner is up and running but I want to collect a little bit more information and the way I do that is I'm going to show you a command that I want you to run if you come up here and select the run command from the top menu and I want you to type net dash test if you haven't tried this before and run that and you will see in the Hive console here in the GUI that net test is currently running. Now this may take a minute to complete all of the tasks that it's going to be running and when it does we are just going to select net test to see the results. Now one other thing you can do while you're waiting on net test to complete is go check the pool because sometimes rigs will not show up in your farm. Again it's fairly rare and I'm going to talk about why that happens and why it's happened to me but they may not show up but they may actually be mining. Now I'm coming back into my solo rig and you can see that net test has completed and I am just going to click on that and here we can see the results that are laid out. Now the first thing that this command gave me was a local network configuration test. I can see my local IP address, what port I am on, I can see what my local gateway is and my DNS. You'll also note right here, I'm going to cover this in another video, but DNS over HTTPS is enabled globally. And this may be something that you can do to help ensure better quality connections into the Hive OS infrastructure. And it enables uh, some extra security for you as well. But like I said, we'll cover that in another video. Now, if you look here, you can see that our ping to our gateway was one millisecond. And this goes all the way out. I have Google DNS set up 8.8.8.8, .8 .8 .8, but it doesn't matter what 
primary and secondary DNS you have in place. You can see right here I've got very good low latency out to my DNS servers. So at this point after I have physically checked all my network connections this gives me a quick simple little snapshot to see that everything is working properly because it's it is possible that you've got everything plugged in right but DNS is failing and that happens quite a bit and unfortunately can be frustrating when it does happen. Now the next thing this command does is it checks connections to HiveOS servers, repository servers, and worker API servers. And what I want you to do is just come down here and note the latency to each of these and what task maybe you're trying to accomplish because if one of these is very high latency it may explain why and give you some ideas on where to go and what to troubleshoot. But what I want you to take a look at if rigs are not showing up in your console is the connection to the worker API servers. For now, what I want you to do is just get an idea of the different servers that are available and which one you're currently connected to. Compare the ping and API latency figures that are here to other connections that are available. So you can see there's a Helsinki server, you can see there's a Moscow server, a Paris server, and so forth. So take a look at those and see which one has the lowest latency for you and just make note of that for now. And more than likely, if they're all on the same network, you're probably going to have very similar network performance across all of your mining rigs. Okay, so I'm going to close that. Now before we do this next item, what I want you to do is make sure that you have access locally to whatever rig that you're going to make these updates on. So we are in solo, and I know that I have a keyboard, monitor, and mouse available to connect locally to this. I can power cycle this rig. So make sure you have local access in case something goes sideways during this update here. Now if you come up here you'll see this server URL and you may not have taken a look at everything that's available up here and this is one of those that you don't really use that often. So I want you to tap on that and you can see here you get an option for mirror select and what this is doing is taking a look at what URL, what server you are connected to by default for this particular rig. Now remember this isn't global. This is for the particular rig that I'm in at the moment. So it states if you have problems connecting to the Hive server from your worker and have often false offline online events, then try choosing a different server connection URL. And then like I said earlier, it says sometimes there are firewall problems, your own ISP and switching ports may help. But we already mentioned that and we've already tried that in our troubleshooting process. So here we want to take a look at the best server connection that's available for us. Now previously we noted which server had the lowest latency for us. And for me, this ca1.hiveos.farm has the lowest latency along with, generally speaking, the Paris server as well. But for now, I'm going to select ca1.hiveos.farm and then I'm going to set that. Now, do notice also right here, it says if the worker is unable to connect to the selected URL, it will become offline in Hive mirror URL is saved in hive-config forward slash rig.conf. So it's in that rig.conf file where you can edit it manually if you have to go back in with a console to make any changes. Now just for example sake I'm going to change this from California and I am going to select Paris right here and I'm going to set that. Okay, so we made the change. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell this particular rig to shut down and boot in 30 seconds. And then if for any reason that this does not show up, it seems like it doesn't boot properly within a reasonable amount of time, within a couple of minutes, and it's not showing back up in the Hive farm interface, then let's do a manual power cycle on it as well. And usually that tackles any issues you have bringing the rig back up. If not, like I said, you're going to have to connect locally, and we talked about how to fix that in the rig.conf file. Okay, guys, so here you can see that our rig booted properly. Everything came back up two minutes ago, and our miner is up and running. We are at 31.16 mega hash. And let's just take a quick look here at our mirror. You can see right here we are set to Paris, which I manually set. Now let me also say this, even though that all went successful, you are going to be set to default. And this is worth mentioning, that when you are set to default, what happens is all of your rigs come into the Hive infrastructure and traffic is managed by them and it's dealt out 
to whichever server at that moment seems like it is the best option for you. Now if there's a hiccup or maybe a server that you're normally connected to has an abnormal very high latency it may send you somewhere else and this has happened to me on occasion. So this is the case where if you come in here and run some tests you can see exactly what's going on and what settings are going to be best for you and your rigs and you can manually set that using this mirror select tool. So that's all I've got for you today guys. If you have any additional questions, suggestions, put that in the comments below. Hopefully this little tidbit helped you and stay tuned for some more we've got coming very soon. Take care Raptors, see you in the next video.